Good morning, everyone. For the book review this week, I read Gerda Lerner's The Creation of Patriarchy. This is part one of a two-part series in which she looks through the whole span of Western civilization for the roots of patriarchy. As a feminist historian, she's starting with an assumption that patriarchy exists and it doesn't exist in a vacuum, that it has a historical process that people were involved with creating and that in the creation of that became inscribed in civilizations in such a way that we basically take it for granted. Um, this goes as far as how we think about gender dynamics, how we think about gender roles, and the rightful place and activity of women in society. Werner was not a historian of ancient things. Her first work and, and some of her most prominent work focused on 19th century women like Sarah Grimke, um, so early feminist scholars and thinkers. Um, and before that, she was a poet. So, hey, there's hope for us all. Um, but what is fascinating about this work and what I write about in the review is I find it, while problematic, sometimes when starting with a, a foregone conclusion that um, your historical question exists naturally, that patriarchy is and then it has a process, kind of can preclude some of the conclusions she comes to, um, right? The way that we ask questions can kind of force an answer that may or may not be there. But her methods are remarkably conservative and pretty well established. Um, because she can't quite access the primary sources in the same way that an ancient Near Eastern historian could, she looked at all the secondary sources. She looked at some primary material as well. She has a whole section of images, which is great. There are pictures, um, big selling point. Um, she looks at all of this accepted wisdom and she layers it up and she sees the gaps. And those gaps are usually about the place of women, whether it's, um, how women were exchanged or how marriage practices worked that were at first perhaps um, positive for women, places of agency, but ultimately became their subjugation and their, their commodification in society. Or if it's in the institution of slavery, she argues that because women's subjugation worked, society had a blueprint for larger systems of oppression and commodification of other humans. And we see today how um, an understanding of these very foundational and ancient practices of relationship to one another, how that still has ramifications for us today. And I talk about that a little bit in the review. But I found it incredibly compelling to see how a sober historical method, even if it's not your field of expertise, still yields really, really significant information that shapes how we can see and think about the past. I talk about that more in the review too, so I'm going to stop and post that and post this, and I look forward to talking later today.